Alright, uh, okay, what's up guys? There's a lot to unpack right here. So first off we have this the new Christmas franchise program with a bunch of really good players, which we'll have that in a second. But then there's also this big collection with George Brett. Let's find George Brett. And it looks like this new Nick Castellanos in the second always intense pack. And then there's a Robbie Ray card. And then they just unleashed the Rockies City Connect. And th honestly, this looks, this does not look bad. There's a lot to unpack. So I'll look at some of these. And they should unleash the, release the rest of the main monthly awards pretty soon also. He looks pretty sick. And then this Charlie Blackman. Jeez. But yeah. The first pack you get is out. Let's see. You get a bunch of flashback and legends players. Probably be looking at them. There's a North Senior Guard. These are not awful players. Drew Palmer. First one you get is at 150. You get Gunnar Henderson. It's a choice pack. You can get uh, Gunnar Henderson. This is a pretty good shortstop option for people. I probably wouldn't pick him. Brian Bello. Looks pretty good. Os Oswald Peraza. Good, good contact. Good fielding. This definitely looks like it could be a 5 pool shortstop. Just low. Really good fielding. Another amazing player. And then or Orelvis Martinez. Looks alright too, but I would definitely pick either Josh Low. Don't pick Gunnar Henderson or or Elvis. I definitely pick between these three based on who you need the most. And then we got Michael Harris, the second. Good fielding, good hitting. Okay, and I'm not great power, but good contact. The center fielder. I, I mean, I probably wouldn't pick him just because of that power. It's scary, awful. Khalil Watson. It's another really fast. Both both of the players from the Marlins have been speed guys. And pair of four, this guy gets diamond uh, fielding. It's a pretty good hitter. Uh, Brett Beatty. Looks like an alright hitter. Not amazing, but he's definitely good. Bryson Stott. Oh, he's good, but I still expected more. And then Buddy House looks like a solid pickup if you needed it. There's three shortstops in this thing. I don't know if I like that. And then we got Yoelki, Yoel, Yoelki, I think maybe Cespedes. Anyways, he's I. Right. Good power. He's I. Right. George Valera. Really good hit against righties. And then I against lefties. Not great speed. Eh, he's pretty good. And then Jackson Job. Looks like. Ooh, looks like he has a couple high 90s. He looks pretty good. Nick Prado and Nick Prado. 
I probably wouldn't pick him because of that speed. Oh wait, but it's a first baseman. Never mind. But that kind of power, that kind of power, is good. But I don't know if I like the fielding. I definitely play him in right or left field. At first base, I don't think you need that kind of power. I mean, that kind of fielding. But then we have, anyways, here we have Austin Martin with who's pretty good, good hitting, not great power. So, I mean, he's I, he's not bad. We got Pete Crow Armstrong. People are saying that this guy's an L. But I think this is... Actually, yeah, the power is awful. But he's a good guy. Like, if you have people in scoring position, you just want to get a quick hit. But he also has really good fielding, too. 99 reaction, 97 fielding. This Austin Kendrick card. Really good power. For right, for a right fielder. New guy. Garrett Mitchell. Really good, con really good, uh, contact. Really good fielding all around. Good speed all around. But the power could do some work. Henry Davis. Pirates guy. Pretty good hitting. And pretty good arm accuracy. He's good. I would definitely pick him. Ooh, no, never mind. Mason win. Oh wait, gotta slow my horses. That's an awful power. Really good contact. Really good all around fielding. Really good all around speeding on the base paths and stuff. That's tough. Corey Lee got good hitting. I feel they kind of as you expect it. Lee Detmer, Swepty. Good break there. We got Shay Langliers. Another catcher. Got two catchers in this one. Alright, that's not bad hitting. And then the fielding, good fielding for the catcher. And Matt Blash looks really good. Mm -hmm. Justin Foskew. Good hitting. I, uh, using speed, I wouldn't pick him. And then we got an NL West guy. We got Blake Walston. I think he could be good. Michael Toglia. Good power. Eye contact. Some good fielding. Especially for a first baseman. This is like an underrated card, I'd say. Michael Toglia, because he's a switch hater too. But I still wouldn't play him at first base because of that fielding. Fielding would be like way better somewhere else. But I mean, it works. And then this card is amazing. Bobby Miller, look at that. 102 hits for nine. 99 velo, and yes, you guessed it, he does have outline on that four seam. Look at that hit mix. Slider, splitter, sinker, curveball. You have Mr. Splitty, sinker baller, outlier, knee buckler, cheesy. Just all these things. Wow. Two more catchers. So I'm eating something, but two more catchers. Pretty good hit. Luis Camputano. Really good hitting. I fielding. Probably that's pretty good fielding, but I've seen better. This one. Joey Bart and Luis Camposano. Really good. Like, both guys are really good. I could definitely hear an argument and accept an argument for either of those guys. 
to pick. And there's this. Yeah. Same people again. Anyways, what can we do? We got different different guys you can use for that. If you get the D back oh but we didn't really look at everybody, so there's other things to look at. Oh, this Brian Will Ooh yeah, that's a big collection, big collection. I forgot about that. Big legends and flashbacks, the Brett. George Brett, in order to get him. Wow. That's goaded. Goaded feet hitting. Wow. I definitely want that guy. You have to get these different ones. You have to get, how many of them you have to get? 16 to get him. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you have to collect every single one. Ooh, no can do, man. No can do. Oh, there's a new Nick Costaianos. Good hitting. Ooh, maxed out versus lefties. Ooh, and then there's Jorge Polanco for the Psycho in 2019. He's alright. Rock Hall, you don't know how you get this guy. Oh, he's in the new, always intense. He also had a psycho. Um, oh, it expires in six. Oh, is he supercharged even more? Holy! Wait! But he did it again! This flipper, bro, I'm telling you. He has maxed out hitting now, I think, right? No, 105 power righties. What the f... 125 contact both sides. What the flip? This is absurd. Go Gold Schmidisa, stop right now. It's goaded. Goldie is a goat now. What the heck? Why is Goldie so good? Nobody knows why Goldie is so good. Goldie must be goaded. Goaded Goldie. Oh, jeez, you have to get a lot for these. 40? You have to collect all of them for Brett. Yes, you have to collect every single... You have to collect every single flashback and legend in order to get him? Yes, you do. You flipping do. You flip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and you have to get all but 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. So, you got, so never mind, you don't have to get all, all of them, but... Alright, okay, so these all just came out today, so... Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. There's just four, eight, twelve, bro. Well, did I really forget mine? 16, 20, 24, 28. So you need to get like, there's five that you don't need to get. Tops now, I got like all the tops now cards, but somehow it's still not enough. You got one, two, yeah, there's a couple of cards you can still get. I'm not even going to try to get these cards. It's going to be so impossible to get anything right now. Because everybody's rushing to get everything. Oh my god. Well, I'm kind of annoyed. Because now there's another card that I really can't get, really. I just said really twice, but I can't exactly get it, really. Honestly, whatever. I'm just gonna give up and accept the fact that I can't get those cards. We're fine. But yeah, we're gonna go to an actual stream. Stream this.